Hey everybody, welcome to Board Online, Board Offline. Today we have another video from another channel. This time we've got to play or not to play. This is a husband and wife team that has a heavy focus on their channel for two-player games. They assess all the games they play as two-player games and let you know what they think. Be sure to go check them out. There's a link in the description below so that you can get it over to their actual YouTube channel. And now enjoy to play or not to play. Hi, I'm Tim. I'm Lizzie. And we are To Play or Not. To Play, a show about board games for two players. Whose tastes may differ. Hello. Hello. Today we are looking at Imhotep. Imhotep. Egyptian. All things Egyptian. I love it. We love it. Is it like that? No, it's like that. <laughs> <laughs> this is a two to four player game by Cosmos. Yep. And just as I was sitting here when you were setting up the camera, mm. I noticed something that I'd like everyone to comment on. Tell me what it is. Um, obviously, you can put a picture up so they can see. It's got hieroglyphs oh, yeah. on there. I'd like to know what they actually mean. Nice. So if you know, comment. I'd like to know. Ooh, I expect that's on the other games. There's, there's oh, that we'll icon. Or we'll have a look in a minute. But yeah, yeah, let us know. It's cool. So all things Egyptian, all good. <laughs> oh yeah. So the, um, this is a great uh, Phil Walker Harding game. Uh, I love this designer. But um, this is a sort of area majority and mm. uh, set collection sort of game. Um, mm -hmm. The way that it works <laughs> is very very simple. There's a sequence of uh, objectives that you're trying to achieve laid out, and they are kind of buildings basically. So a mm -hmm. pyramid. Um, tomb, obelisk, mm, temple. Uh, temple, yeah. So these are little sections of the board that are laid out and you have to try and achieve those buildings, basically. Mm -hmm. And the way that you do that is you've got a quarry full of stone. Um, so you choose a stone colour and mm -hmm. you try to get as many blocks of that colour of stone onto the boats that are available. And the boats that are available, that? well, there <laughs> there are a set of a deck of cards that you turn over each round. Um, it's only six rounds. Mm. Um, so basically there's seven cards that you can choose from and you discard one and then that leaves you with six and you place them face down you turn over the top one and that's got a certain number of boats on it yeah. and it just basically says use boat with four slots, three slots, two two slots or something like that or, you know so it just mixes those selections of boats around mm -hmm. and then you just basically have a couple of different actions that you can take you can either take stone from the quarry into your little area which is called your sled you yeah, have a little, max, wooden little wooden sled on rollers, yes. um, which is great, very thematic. <laughs> uh, and uh, you can get a maximum of five stones on there. So you either take stone from the quarry onto there, or you take stones off of your sled and put them on a ship. That's kind of it. The other action you can take is move your ship you to a. Uh, you can sail. sail you can not move it. Yeah, you can sail your <laughs> ship. Is it a ship or a boat? It says boat actually in the game. You can I sail can your boat, boat <laughs> to uh, one of these locations. Mm -hmm. And that is kind of the, the game. Mm. So you kind of obviously want to sail the boat into your best avenue of making points, which mm -hmm. is by building at the various buildings. Whereas your opponent wants to, or opponents if you're playing it more than two, yeah. but this is great at two, your mm. opponent will try and steer the ship where they want to score points and or where it will mess you over by not where, allowing you to go. This is where the strategy comes in. Yeah, it's a really cool little game. And in fact, she plays it very, very meanly. <laughs> um, I don't mess with me. Yeah, either. I know, exactly. So so basically the way it is, is <laughs> works is when you sail a ship into one of the areas, so let's say you sail a ship with three cubes into the pyramid area. Mm -hmm. The first cube comes off and goes into one the first slot and the second cube go, comes off and goes into the second slot and the third into the third slot. And depending on what colour cube that is, obviously that earns that certain person mm -hmm. those certain points that it has been landed on. So of course mm -hmm. if if I'm set up with two blocks in the first place and yours is in the third place and the third place block on the pyramid grid is the worst scoring. She might think, well, I'm not going to send my ship there because I'm mm. not going to. I'm not going to get the best. I'll points. go and build an obelisk. Exactly. If I go and build an obelisk, then oh, I used to be fair, you wouldn't do that because I'd get no. two on that. <laughs> but because the tallest obelisk wins, and the most points on the pyramid wins. Uh, mm -hmm. There's a grid on the the tomb that mm. if you've got the most um, joined together stones, Isn't that, then is that uh, burial chamber. Oh uh, yeah, the it might be. Yeah, uh, the tomb, yeah, the tomb is. Um, you kind of look down on it, and uh, you see mm. who's got the most oh, yeah. showing vertically up. So you look down and score the most showing. Mm. 
They're really cool little it's sort quite, of. Um, it's quite well done where you've got to like you look at it from the side. You've got an obelisk and the pyramid, and it's yeah, quite good to look at. Yeah, very much it? so. Yeah, so uh, that's pretty much the way that the game plays. Mm -hmm. you take it in turns, sort of choosing your decision of what you're going to do and move move the ship or not. Collect stone. Mm. Six rounds of that, and you're done. Yeah. And the one with the most points wins. Um, it's such an elegant good. game. Yeah. Yeah, yes, it is. Really, really nicely. Really well made. Yeah, I mean. Reading the, when you read the rules out to me as well, I wasn't. Ill. When you first read them, I thought, oh, God. Which but is always the case, to be fair. You, it's you, always you the always case, kind of think, yeah. you know, it sounds a bit too much. Cool. Like, <laughs> but even in like the first round, I completely got it. Yeah, it's very and quick. I was to pick already up. ripping you. You were actually, to be fair, and you were uh, getting all mean on me. Yeah, <laughs> I know. <laughs> I think I had two chances the last game we played. I had two chances to get mean on you. You did win in the end, though. And uh, did I? I can't yeah, remember. Yeah, you did. Um, but yeah, I mean, generally when she plays, she's very mean with this. She's very oh, good yeah. at very good at steering your boat <laughs> to the wrong place. Um, so yeah, it's it's um, it's a great little game. I mean, mm -hmm. there's two sides on the board as well, so you can play the A game, which is the game you play first, or you play the B game. Mm -hmm. um, there's a couple of expansions as well, mm -hmm. um, and also there is a the Jewel game available, mm -hmm. which is kind of right here somewhere. There. Yeah, so um, that's a whole different game, but that is just a two-player game. Mm -hmm. We'll do a review of that at some point, but this is the two to four-player game that we're playing as a two-player game. I have to say, I'm I'm thinking, you know, this is probably going to beat that. We haven't actually this played this one, have we? We haven't, we haven't played the duel. No, we haven't. Um, so I, I can't we'll see, see I can't see that being this, yeah, because this is so good. It doesn't need mm. the dual version. There was one to. thing we noted. Yeah. There was a, there was a time when I got... Um, Last time we played it, I got a card that said, um, I win, I oh know, I get all the points for how many stones win in the right, world. Right, so yeah, one, the one of the, um, yeah, one of the uh, cards that you can sell, or sort of places that you can sell one of your ships to is called the Marketplace, and there are oh, yeah. a set of cards, yeah, thank you for reminding me, there's a set of cards that you turn over from a quite a big deck that you've shuffled up, and mm -hmm. they give you special powers, for instance. Yes, at the end of the game, the whole game. Yeah. Um... The card I took last time was uh, you get points for every for all every the, three all the, blocks, every group of three blocks yeah. in the burial chamber. That's right. But then no matter who they belong to. So basically, yeah. if there were if there were thirty blocks, you would get three points for every. Sorry, what was it? One, one point for every, three. every three. blocks. So you would get ten, ten points yeah, for that. Enough. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> I was struggling. But then set myself up. In the game, <laughs> you got the same. The same card came up. Yeah. Um, and it was your turn. It was exactly the same, wasn't that it? Was I could same. get so. You were thinking, so I just get it, because it will just cancel me out. Yeah. And if you don't get it, I'll get. You know, I'll get more points. I know you'll get ten points. Yeah. So. so that was the thing. I mean, if there was a, if it was a three or four player game, that would make that a difference thing. because yeah. two people would get those points, but one person wouldn't. So they would kind of I creep think, ahead. I think if so, I guess if in a two player game, if you take that card, then. If, you, if, if you it turns up again, you may should discard it. Maybe. it yeah, I think so. Uh, so maybe. that's like a house rule thing you might want to do because it, it did. Uh, yeah, it seemed a bit strange, didn't it? You think, oh, well, that's a bit weird because now I can literally just take that card and negate mm. the one that five minutes earlier was a really strong didn't card take away for you. From the whole no, not at all, not at all. But that's yeah, something that's worth it. kind of remembering. Mm. Um, so yeah, uh, simple game, mm, very easy course. to play, very quick to to, to mm. pick up. So yeah, score cool. it. Well, I know I was going to just talk about the theme a little bit actually. Mm. Um, I really like the quarry and getting your stones from the quarry. The stones, yeah, I mean, they're, they're very, I mean, they're quite chunky stones. They're not like dice yeah. size. They're bigger than dice, than standard dice size, but they're kind of just square like dice. But they just feel so kind of satisfying. And mm. when you build the pyramid up, you're actually building like a pyramid, three layers. Yeah. When you're building your obelisk. Obelisk, yeah. I mean, we noticed the last game we played, we played it at night and uh, the lights mm. were on and um, the Should obelisk be. cast yeah. a shadow. And it was like an obelisk shaped shadow as well because yeah, it was yeah. kind of hitting the, the cubes on the angle and it was everything about really the game. Good, looks, yeah, looks it looks really good. really yeah. feels very thematic like you are actually building these mm. kind of Egyptian things. And I think I like it just as much as you, which is which is great for our different tastes yeah, as well. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not too in depth for me. No. Okay, so uh, yeah, scores then. So shall I score first because this is my game. I've been itching to play you this for a long itching, time with you. Itching, um, itching, itching. So it's taking me a long time to badger bear, badger bear, badger, badger bear into, <laughs> I like that. Uh, <laughs> so it's taking me a long time to badger you into playing this. Uh, and so now you're sort of, I'm, I'm you're kicking pleased, yourself that I'm we haven't been I playing. Finally, exactly. I think this might, oh, you're right, this well might do, <laughs> do quite well in our top 10 when we do one next time. Um, we'll have to revisit the top 10 actually. We will, because things have changed since we did it last. Mm. Okay, so I'll score this, um, because I like it so much. Uh, it's, it's, 
kind of right out there. I'm going to go for an eight and a half. Eight and a half? Yes, yeah, it's, it's a really good game for me. I like so this I'm just a lot. down from you at eight. Are you really? Oh, cool. Okay, so. 16 and a half, 16 that's and a half. really good. So yeah, I mean, it is a, it's a very, very nice game. Very yeah. satisfying to play. It's the, you know, the sort of manipulation of these stones. It just feels so good. The, the sailing of the boat to the yeah. dock, you know, everything about it is really good. I mean, it, I don't know if you could make this game much better apart from having actual nice stone cubes, you know, made or of- little people. Made of marble. <laughs> <laughs> made of, well, I'll make you sit like- people I don't like the ones that scare gonna, me. With the- Oh, you mean the the gods? Yeah. Um, Anubis. 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 <laughs> Aruba. 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 The, Anubis. Uh, yeah, Anubis. You don't like Anubis. If that's uh, um, yeah, I mean, uh, so yeah, you know, if you made, if you made, if you upgraded the the stones to actual like marble blocks or something like that, so they're really heavy. I suppose you could kind of bling it out it a bit. Cost but, a bit more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but uh, super, super, super game. Yeah. So yeah, we like this one a lot. So what's sixteen and a half? It's Check it really out. good. Yeah, definitely recommend this one. Um, okay, so we'll try and do the jewel at some point, mm -hmm. um, so you can kind of compare those, and mm -hmm. we'll compare them as well. Um, as an aside, uh, don't forget, mm -hmm. if you want us to review any of these games behind us that we've not reviewed yet, please yeah. just ask us. So there's a couple of these that we can't play as two players, you know, mm. things like Mystery of the Abbey, things like that. Um, we've not played a lot of them, haven't we, actually? No, there's a lot of games we've not Lies played. Mystics, um, yeah. not played. This one's still Mint Seal. We could play that one, one to six. Game so yeah. Catcher as well. I know, Ooh, yes. I think that needs more than two. That's minimum three, uh, maybe. But anyway, so okay. any of the games that we can play, to, well, mm. we'll try them. You know, there might be yeah, two-player right. variants or whatever. But ask us anyway in the comments, and we'll see if we can get a review up yeah. for you because it give us an excuse to play them. Rich yeah, in the play them. Need an excuse. No, we do. We do. <laughs> it's like this one. You know, it's been a long time yeah. sort of coming to the table. So yeah. you know, now it's there. It's probably going to end up in our top ten. Mm. <laughs> you know, what's there waiting that could be our number one yeah. game? Please ask us to play it. <laughs> okay, so thanks for that, everybody, for okay. watching, and yeah, uh, hopefully this has helped you decide whether to play this game or not. Do, do, do. <laughs> See you on the <laughs> next one. Bye.